here the last day of the Linaro Connect Budapest 2017 and uh, so how did it go this time? It's been a great conference, it's great to be back in, in Europe. Um, there's been a lot of discussion, a lot of collaboration, a lot of uh, open technical discussion. We've had a really good time. And uh, so the opening keynote, you announced that Google is joining as a club member of Linaro. Yes, we're really pleased that uh, Google have joined as a club member. Um, we're excited to have them working with us. We've been doing a lot of work on Android and AOSP over the past few years. Google obviously invests in and use a lot of open source software, so it's very good to have them supporting what we're doing in Lenaro and working with them. So that's definitely a, a proof that uh, what you're doing really makes sense for the whole industry. Yeah, I mean, clearly there are a lot of companies involved in the entire open source ecosystem. And, and Google is an, an enormous user of open source code. Android is used in all of the world's phones um, that, that are based on open source software. So it's great to see them being on board and, and working with us. And uh, so there's definitely, uh, it's going to be uh, great to have uh, the Google uh, uh, join uh, the segments that they want. They have access to Yeah, so as, as a club member, um, they can work across Lenaro in everything from IoT up to the enterprise. Um, clearly, big focus on mobile is what we've been working on on, on AOSP for the last for the last few years. Um, but the nice thing about Google's involvement with Lenaro is it stretches end to end. And there's some other uh, new new members, right? Yeah, so we're very pleased to have um, HXT, uh, which is a joint venture between Qualcomm and Chinese local government. Um, working, uh, HXT's joined Lenaro's enterprise group to work on servers, both for the Chinese market and globally, and uh, also Fujitsu, um, whose post-K supercomputer has uh, been announced to be working on the ARM architecture. They've also joined LEG, particularly to work on that and work on high-performance computing, HPC. And during this week, but not at the show actually, uh, Microsoft also announced they will definitely do ARM servers. Yeah, exciting so that's, news. That's yeah, really exciting news for the whole ARM. ecosystem. I think the the announcements from Microsoft and demonstrating running um, on both Qualcomm and Cavium hardware is is really good endorsement for the ARM ecosystem and a sign that ARM, I think, in the in the server space, it's early days, but it's certainly an endorsement of how interesting this is going to be as we move into the next generation of enterprise and cloud computing. And the 96 boards uh, started two, uh, two years ago, but uh, it still can it ex explode, right? That you, you're yeah, talking about it, a lot of projects on the there's way. There's a lot of projects on the way. As I said on Monday, there's, there's over 30 boards in design that we know about, and, and I believe there are more that we don't know about. Um, we see this ecosystem really starting to build. And our goal is to leverage this to help get better open source support for newer devices. And, and, and I think that's starting to, we're starting to see that, so we're pretty excited. And uh, Arm is talking about, the new tagline is called Accelerating Innovation, like with the new uh, uh, acquisition. They want to potentially fund even faster innovation. So that, that could be a big deal also for the NARA, right? Yeah, uh, clearly SoftBank's investment in, in ARM is about accelerating the entire ecosystem and accelerating innovation. And so we're very excited to be a part of that because we think that open source is, is an absolutely key element of doing that. And all these engineers must be very proud to know that their work is being used all over the world. Yeah. This I, stuff it, is like making a difference. It is. And when I, when I joined Lenaro, it was the opportunity to, to work across big companies who are innovating in all sorts of areas, but also all of the startups and the maker community who are working with open source code. And open source is is literally running the world's biggest software systems and biggest financial systems. And uh, it's on everything from, from TVs and phones to cars and spaceships. And it even turned out that you were the number one contributor to the 4.9, right? To the 4.9 kernel, Lenaro, for the first time, was the biggest single company contributor. We're normally in the kind of top four or five contributors, which for a company that's relatively small compared to the major contributors is, is, is a big, uh, big feather in our cap. But it's, it's not me, it's, it's all of these guys, um, the engineers from Lenaro and from all of our members who are making that happen. And they're really, 
if you think about engineers who are working on Linux are working on the next generation of every device. And so there's been uh, six, seven years now, Linaro, right? Seven years. Seven years, and uh, so it's definitely everybody's like know Linaro as a success story, right? It, it's uh, it, it, what Linaro does is is very much in the. Um, in, at the intersection of hardware and software on these complex uh, SOCs and now microcontrollers, MCUs. So we're not a household name, but in the industry I think we're hopefully providing a key collaboration point for all of these companies who want to work together to help them innovate faster.